Hey, what's up, guys? It's Randall from Odds Jam back with you today to talk to you about something known as market width. So I get a lot of questions about the plus EV page and how to best utilize it. And one of the things that is very important um, that many people uh, maybe do not consider is the market width um, with Pinnacle. So I'm just going to go through this video here and uh, show you some bets that, you know, may be a little bit better to place than others and explain to you uh, why that is so. So when you're looking at the pinnacle line, uh, one thing that you want to look at is how wide is the market? So for example, you can see here, Arkansas state versus K state, um, Arkansas is minus 398 on the money line at Pinnacle, the sharpest book in the world, plus 301 on Kansas State. So obviously, when you look at this, we have some value in um, Kansas State. Um, it's, it's a plus EV play. You can get it plus 380 on Barstool. However, if you notice, we have 97 cents difference between the market that Pinnacle has. So minus 398 plus 301, 97 cents difference. So although this is a plus EV play, this is also a very, very wide market. Um, and, you know, what they are telling you with this is that they are not as competent in their line. So when Pinnacle is confident or very confident in their line, you will see much tighter lines. So I'm going to scroll down here. Um, this is a player prop, which I have uh, talked about before. I would strongly um, encourage to avoid player props. Um, they can introduce a lot of variance, but for this example, um, it's going to, to work out well here just for me to show you, um, you know, a very tight, tight market. So uh, Kyle Kuzma, over under seven and a half rebounds. You know, let's just pretend that this was a point spread um, for the sake of this example. Um, as you will see, the over is minus 117. The under is minus 114. So you have a very, very tight market. It's off three cents. There's a three cents difference. So the tighter the markets are, basically the... Um, higher the confidence level is for Pinnacle. So you've got three cents here. Um, very, very tight market. If this were a you know, spread uh, total, and this is something that I was seeing, I would be looking to um, hammer this under where you would be getting plus 115 at Caesars. Um, you know, when you're talking about market width, um, you know, what is the suggestion as far as you know, what you should look for, you know, how, how wide is too wide. Um, again, you know, back up here, minus 302 plus 239. I mean, you're talking 63 cents difference here. You know, that's far too wide. Yeah, sure. You can go out and get plus 310. Um, but Pinnacle is telling you here, you know, that they are not as confident in this line as they are, you know, say, maybe in this line right here where, you know, the difference is only 23 cents. So, you know, just for, you know, kind of rule of thumb, um, you know, 20 to 25 cents is probably, you know, the target area to look for whenever you are, um, you know, placing these bets. You know, here's one um, with Clemson and... Let's see if it's still on here now. Clemson and South Carolina. So, I mean, minus 488 plus 341. So, I mean, you've got 147 point, uh, 147 cents difference here in this line. So, I mean, Pinnacle is telling you, you know, they're not very confident in this line um, as they are, you know, in, say, this line right here. Minus 111 plus 101. Uh, this is a great, great bet, um, you know, based on the market width, you've got four and a half percent 
um, plus EV. And again, minus 111, plus 101, you can snag plus 115 on DraftKings. Um, you know, plus EV, I just want to say it is a great tool, um, but it is not something, you know, that you need to just follow blindly. Um, you know, it, it is something, obviously, the, the more you bet, um, you know, with these lines, the better off you're going to be. But, you know, again, betting something, you know, at plus 275, because Pinnacle has plus 243, um, you know, yes, that is a good bet. But notice, you know, the market width is extremely high here. Um, so, you know, as you're doing plus EV betting, um, I think that's something to think about. You know, here's another one, Houston versus the Jets, uh, minus 121 plus 109. You're looking at 12, 12 cents difference. Um, you can get Houston minus 105, minus two and a half on points bet. Um from a handicapping angle, this is a great bet. I really do like the Texans this week. Um, but from a, you know, mathematical standpoint, you know, obviously great bet here, minus 121 on Pinnacle, minus 105 on points bet. And you only have 12 cents difference between um, the underdog and the favorite. So, you know, those are things to, to look out for. Um, one last thing that I want to mention is whenever I am you know, doing plus EV betting, I have found that oftentimes if I focus on, you know, plays in say the two to 6% range, um, that is where I normally um, will see, you know, the tighter markets. Um, so, you know, just scrolling down through here, you know, you've got, um, you know, the two to 6%, you can see here, you know, you've got minus 147 plus 129. Um, so 18 cents on this one, uh, 23 cents here, um, 22 cents here. So, I mean, these are all, you know, profitable bets. And like I said, when you're, when you're doing plus EV betting, the market width for this is extremely, extremely important. So if you guys have any questions, you can email me, randall at oddsjam.com. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about plus EV betting, talk to you about any of the tools that we have on our site. And thank you guys for watching.